Okay, now we're, it's time to actually obtain the dimensions for the parts. What we want to do, the general in-process inspection things, we want to match our revision level to the drawing. This is Rev A, in fact. And I just like to take 10, 15 seconds to study the drawing. Number one, it is in metric. Um, we have an option to change that. Go ahead and pause that. Good? Yes, sir. Okay, I found where to, on this software, where to change your units of measure. It's this little icon right here. It has a triangle. We're in inches now, but this part is metric. We have the option for meters, centimeters, or millimeters. We only work in inches and millimeters here. <laughs> so that's selected. So that what that's going to do is it's going to tell me my value according to what the draftsman drew the part in inches or millimeters. Right. After that, we're still in measure mode up here. That's where we get our planes and lines and all that. Now we need to go to construct. And we're going to choose this feature right here, this button, length from features. And it's going to give us the ability to obtain all these measurements. Um, one quick note on a part. It's probably, if, if your part has a slotted hole in it, you're better off looking at your drawing first. Because as you know, some slotted holes are dimensioned as if they're two holes. Mm -hmm. And some of them are dimensioned to the center of a slot. Those that are dimensioned with two holes, you know, they could go to both holes and that's how you get the length of the slot. Luckily for us, this one's dimensioned to uh, the center of the slot. So always look at your drawing, especially if it has slotted holes in it, to make sure that it's going to the center of the slot or if it's going, recognizing that it's just two holes close together. So this, we're good on this. So what I'm going to do now, and I can do this pretty quick, but I'm going to do it as slow as I can. The reason it's important for you to go into a, a particular pattern, I think anyway, is that it just helps you with your efficiency. <clears throat> for me, the first dimension I'm always going to obtain is going to be my width. So, if you notice, I have to select the features and on this newer software, they don't want to select sometimes. For whatever reason, you gotta play around with it. I think you gotta wait on it to turn green and then click it. So I have line uh, two, no, I have line two and I have line four. Those two are my width dimensions. Okay. And then I'm gonna hit create. A really simple part like this. I don't have to go over and review what I've done, make sure it's intolerant chip. So now I'm going to take line two off and I'm going to select that circle, but I'm going to leave line four on. So that's going to give me what we call end dimensions or edge to center of hole dimensions. And I'm going to hit create. So there it is showing up on screen. There's the width dimension. Okay, so now I just kind of, if I can explain it, I'll piggyback so I'm not continually having to choose two features from the drop down menu. And once you get your pattern figured out, there's a method that makes it pretty easy. So I, I, I call that now my pivot point. So I'm gonna leave circle two as is. Now I'm gonna select this circle as my second feature, which is circle one. I'm gonna create. Over here, it's putting them in the program. The old one does it a little differently, but that's fine. Okay, the last hole that I selected was circle one. 
now I'm going to go from, I'm going to attain that 421 dimension. So I'm going to go from circle one, which is this feature, to slot. Okay. Create. And there's that dimension. Now I know I got to get the ED edge to the center of slot dimension. So slot was the last thing I selected. I'm going to go to this line. Chosen that, round slot one, two, line one. That was my starting point, I remember that. I'm going to hit create. So dimension five is selected. Now, I kind of went in the pattern. I started out here, and I went here, or here. And now, then I went here, 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 and here, here. Now I'm going to get to overall length. <clears throat> so the last feature that I selected was round slot one, which is here. If I select this line right here, it's going to uh, give me that. And if you notice, they'll always, most of the time, if you're working with something that's a rectangle, <clears throat> the, the lines that you use, line to line measurements for your width and your uh, width, if you've done it in the correct sequence, they'll either be odd or even. So if I was dimensioning from line one to line two like that for a length, it's not going to know what to do because you can't do, you can't do that. Right. So I've got that overall length there. My last feature that I selected was line three here. I'm going to leave that and I'm going to go to this line here, which is line six. Kind of contradicted myself, but we're on a different plane now. Right. You can measure features from any plane to any other plane. Okay. And I'm going to hit create. So that gives me this height. Next, I know that I need to go from line six to the circle. So I'm going to select that. And that's going to give me that dimension. Press create. Now I know I need, it's always good to just get another dimension from the, the hole to this edge to confirm that the Y isn't off. And what I'm going to do is change that line to that one. Right. And there it is. So the only last dimension I have to get is the thickness. Real easy to do. I just click on that. You have to click on both of them. The last plane selected and the first plane selected. Hit create. Cancel. So there's my thickness. Okay. Now, a little different over here. The method is, um, so you're inspecting first articles, parts that have never been checked before. You will see what your tolerance is. We have 30 thousandths, which I think equates to like 0.75 millimeters in metric. Uh, we have a one plus or minus one degree angular tolerance, so we still have to check our angle. And when you're in construct up here, you have length from features there, you have angle from features here. So you just select there. And you can do this multiple ways. You can select plane three, two, plane two, or let's, let's do it this way, plane one to plane two. That's generally the way I like to do it. Uh, let's do, where is, pause that for a second. Ready? Yeah, Okay, we got that figured out, so we're going to plane two, which is here, to plane one, or you could use three, hit create. Um, you can use this line to this line, that will work out. 
uh, whatever your personal preference is. Sometimes if the angle's slightly out on one, you can double check it using different features, such as a line or um, planes. Another point to that, if you're checking your overall and it's slightly out of tolerance and you used a line here and a line here, um, measuring from length, length from features, you can do a line to a plane. Sometimes that, that's it. So now we have everything dimension. I like to start on the circles because it's at the top of the program. Pause that for a second. 